If it's in your newsfeed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. In the feed, there was one copy of Wu-Tang Clan's album, Once Upon a Time in Shaolin. This was sold at auction for $2 million. Wow. To the pharma bro, Martin Screlly, who uh, is the piece of trash that bought that one really important drug and then jacked up the price by multitudes mm -hmm. of percent. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was a rule to it. You can't profit off, off the album for 88 years. So until 2103, you can't profit off the album. Okay. However, you can have listening parties, like, you know, a nonprofit deal here and there. He, uh, Screlly had to sell the album after he got arrested for his whole situation. Mm -hmm. And now the, the keeper of the album is going to allow you to listen to it. All you have to do is get to Tasmania. <laughs> Where? Do you, could you put it on a map? I don't. I had I Tasmanian had Devil. Uh, the Tasmanian Devil. Yeah, exactly. It's uh just on the south, uh, off the south coast of uh, Australia, an island wow. right there. And Hobart, you can go to the Museum of Old and New Art and listen to Wu Tang Clan. Wow, I mean it's pretty cool. I, I, it's but... really interesting because mm -hmm. it's the one copy. It's so interesting to me. Yeah. Man, oh man, very very cool. Uh, a mother in uh, in Ohio had to call the police after her kids started fighting over a bag of Doritos. And as this reads, it, it appears as though there were three kids involved. Three kids, one bag of Doritos. <laughs> wow. I mean, small bag, Was big bag. Was it a snack bag? Yeah. yeah. There we go. We go for the big bag. I mean, mm -hmm. there's room for everyone. Uh, one small, that 99 cent deal, which isn't 99 cents anymore. Nope. No. That's not going to feed even 80 one percent air, too. Uh, one sister threw her brother's bicycle. One child grabbed a dumbbell. And the other one grabbed a rock. Whatever weapon was available to them, wow. they used. So calls the police. They show up. She chose, chose not to press charges on her children, which, I mean, I would because that's like a baked in, like, there's a day of babysitting. <laughs> and unless, though, like, unless, I guess I was confused because she wouldn't be, what would she press charges for? Just them fighting each other? Like, I, that'd be like me pressing charges if I see kids fighting at school. They would have to press charges it's, on each other. It's, it's battery. So, you know. I mean, it's, Unless she was hit by a, yeah, dumbbell. Man. Very, very interesting. They all sound like dumbbells. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, a woman in Pennsylvania was recently scammed. She was told to send money via Western Union to Columbia, and if she refused, a spell would be placed mm -hmm. on her family. Get you every time. And it says recently scammed, so she must have sent it. And then she's like, huh, and called the police, and they're currently investigating. That money gone. Wow. <laughs> that money's not Listen, coming back. Listen, see, I know for sure that... Um I was like, how do people get get wrapped up in this? But when do you remember when you would get those long emails and say, if you don't send this to 10 people, you're going to have bad luck for 10 years? Oh, I better send it to 10. Did you do it? No. Yes. Oh, God, you're annoying. Oh, man. I've Look at me, I'm thriving. so many people on faith. And you got hit by a Mack truck. <laughs> it's true. You know, maybe if you I didn't step under that ladder. Emails. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you should have oh, sent the man. emails. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you made a good point. That was uh, literally, I, 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 like, my life became shambles for about five years there. It's kind of cleaning up now, which is good. But like, it started February in 2019. <laughs> I was hit by a Mack truck. <laughs> if you would have been went back to 1996 and sent 10 yeah, people there we that go. email, AOL, chain. I just could yep. you know, back when there was no spam filter. <laughs> yeah. Finally, we're going to court. We're going to Michigan, where one guy had his. We we're talking about the Zoom trials mm -hmm. earlier. This guy goes to trial. Uh, you wait until you hear. How this whole thing goes, it is absolutely incredible. Assistant Public Defender Natalie Kate for Mr. Harris, who should be present with Zoom. Mr. Hello. Harris, are you driving? Um, actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. So, <laughs> so I'll, just give me one second. Okay. I'm parking right now. The gall to just do that. I know, I know. Hey. Like, excuse me, I'm finishing a sandwich, Your Honor. Yep. You stationary? I'm pulling in right now at the second. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. What are we doing? Uh, Your Honor, we are respectfully requesting an adjournment in this matter, um, up possibly two to four weeks if the court would allow. All right. The judge is a little confused. <laughs> yep. So maybe I don't understand something. This is a driving while license suspended? That is correct, Your Honor. <laughs> um, and he was just driving. <laughs> and... <laughs> He didn't have a license. <laughs> the look on this guy's face. Oh my God. This is hysterical. Listen to this. Awkward. Oh. Uh oh. oh no. <laughs> this is with the charges, Your Honor. Yes. You should have kept your camera no, off, bro. I'm looking at yes. his record. He doesn't have a license. He's suspended and he's just driving. 
That is correct, Your Honor. <laughs> the judge is just like, this everybody, is real life. Everybody. All right. Well, he starts looking at his papers. Corey's like, uh oh. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to miss your hairs. <laughs> I don't even know why he would do that. <laughs> so defendant's bond is revoked in this matter. Defendant is turning himself into the Washington County Jail by 6 p.m. today. Failure to turn himself in will result in a bench warrant with no bond. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Give me your licencia. <laughs> oh, I missed that so much. One more time, just for old time's sake. Give me your licencia now. I love it. <laughs>